Hey, it's MediLab Health. Today we are sharing a new video on the serum creatinine test. Before we proceed, please subscribe to this channel and like this video. If you have any thoughts, please share them in the comments section. The creatinine test is one kidney function test that evaluates how well your kidneys are working. If you are older age, have a family history of chronic kidney disease, diabetic mellitus, hypertension, autoimmune diseases, and even low birth weight you should often assess your kidneys. As markers of renal function, creatinine, urea, uric acid, and electrolytes are for routine analysis. Several studies have confirmed and consolidated the use of markers such as cystatin C and beta trace protein as well. Serum creatinine is commonly used as a measure of kidney function. Creatinine is generated as a byproduct of muscle metabolism and distributed throughout the body and the blood. Creatinine, the waste product filters through the kidneys and expels in urine. Your kidneys have tiny filters called glomeruli. These filters help remove waste and excess fluid from the blood. As creatinine reaches the glomerulus it filters into the Bowman's capsule of the nephron. The creatinine concentration at the glomerulus is similar to the creatinine concentration at the Bowman's capsule. Your kidneys filter creatinine from the blood into the urine and reabsorb almost none of it. Thus, it's fair to say the creatinine concentration in the filtrate is as same the creatinine concentration excreted in the urine. The rate of blood flow through your kidneys is the glomerular filtration rate or GFR. This means the amount of fluid that enters the Bowman's capsule per unit of time. So, if the kidneys are filtering less, the glomerular filtration rate plummets. To measure GFR it needs to measure how fast a molecule is cleared from serum. This is called clearance and renal clearance is the volume of plasma completely cleared from a substance by the kidney in a unit time. To calculate the GFR, the clearing substance should be neither secreting nor absorbing in the kidney. The ideal substance for this is inulin, but it's not naturally produced in our bodies. For this reason, creatinine has become the ideal substance to measure the renal clearance for the calculation of GFR. GFR calculation can be done directly by using a creatinine clearance of 24 hours urine test, and it's calculated by this equation. The indirect method of GFR calculation is done by using the serum creatinine blood test. This is also called estimated GFR or eGFR and this is the most commonly used method the calculated GFR, due to its easy procedure. The lab specialist combines your blood creatinine level with several other factors like age, ethnicity, gender, height, and weight to estimate your GFR. Different formulas are used for adults and children. According to the National Kidney Foundation, normal results range from 90 to 120 milliliters per minute. Older people will have lower than normal GFR levels, because GFR decreases with age. Levels below 60 milliliters per minute for three or more months are a sign of chronic kidney disease. A GFR lower than 15 milliliters per minute is a sign of kidney failure and requires immediate medical attention. Thank you for watching this video. Let's meet in another one.